back to the channel uh, as you know uh, another year another cod movement guide so i'm gonna go keep this as short as sweet as possible so everybody can follow along uh, on this video i'm gonna cover um slide cancel sliding in general slide cancel the uses how to use it or when to use it and how to be more efficient with it uh dolphin diving also when to use it how to use it and is it actually worth it or not uh mantling which is huge i'm gonna go over that very soon and overall like what you can do with movement on this game since it's a very movement heavy game this year such hammer has said that they're gonna make this uh, more uh movement heavy game since mw2 is you know what mw2 is feels like you have bricks on your legs so starting off side canceling side canceling the um, it's nothing like mw19 this side cancel is way faster uh but it's not it's way faster way more efficient in terms of speed and how fast like uh, you move around but it's not infinite as it was in version 1 and mw19 you can't chain them infinitely like you can't abuse the side cancel like you could back in MW19. So I'm gonna show you how to um, use side cancel properly because a lot of people have been asking me like um, I made a Twitter post that said that I asked what are some things you want to see in the movement guide and a lot of people asked me um, uh, how to use the side cancel more efficiently and how to maneuver around the map. So this side cancel has a set amount of tactical sprint animations that can be done after a side cancel for example what i'm talking about is when you side cancel and you like have your gun ready for tactical sprint if you're from a fully dead stop you can probably do around six or seven spaced out side cancels with a tactical sprint animation before it runs out so i'm gonna set the example here See, that was like around seven after that if i don't stop you'll see like i go into jog and instantly have tactical sprint after this jogging animation uh i don't know if you follow me on twitter but i like went over it and why i don't like it but basically this animation even if you never slide again the stamina bar you had initially never comes back the same so if i slide again it goes to in jog so spamming side cancel once you see that uh jogging animation is it's counterintuitive it's not it's not worth doing uh what i do is i chain my slide cancels and time them so i i can peek and as soon as you stop for a bit even reload you can have those initial side cancels to like push another way so as you can see if I chain them, I can get enough momentum to peek this corner. And if I shoot and reload, I have more. Like my stamina bar has regened. So that's what you need to like have in mind. You, you have to find um, a hypothetical stamina bar in your head as you move around and have it as muscle memory when you can like go again and run around with side cancel tactical sprint so you have to work that in your mind i don't know the exact milliseconds i have not tested it that deeply but you need to find that middle ground between fights reloading and fully stopping behind a cover so you can start running and tactical sprinting again so that's basically the side cancel uh, some equipment you I always run for faster movement in general uh, is infantry vest is a must. It gives you nice um, uh, in tactical sprint duration and everything in refresh time. Um, from the gloves and, and stuff, I use tactical pal ta tactical pads always. I'll show you why. So if I don't use tactical pads, I cannot slide and aim down. It goes into the into this so if i have uh stalker boots or something else i always slide and have this i don't want this 
I don't want to slide and aim in uh, in tactical stance. So I always use tactical pads. So say for example, I know some people are over here. I can always push and get back to cover. I always have 100% accuracy with my aim down sight instead of the canted sight. Um, another thing. So you see battle rays, right? Uh, if you want increased tactical sprint, in one duration of your life so say for example you have run out of tactical spin here right if you pop your battle rage you have another good duration this is more than the normal as you can see the battle rage duration gives me enough tactical sprint and to go up to here so always always if you want to go for clips for movement for whatever if you don't want to run stems always always use batteries i always use batteries because i know that as soon as i pop it i have enough for a clip or something i always know that i have at least seven to eight seconds of tactical uh, sprint and sliding guaranteed um Stims also give you a refresh in the tactical sprint, but it's way, way less in terms of time. Um, battle Rage is the best, in my opinion. And if you don't want to run uh, the infantry vest and you want to sacrifice the infantry vest, you can use the demolition vest since it gives you tacticals every 25 seconds, which is... In my opinion, in SD, for example, you don't really need this because one round is not gonna, it's 90% you're gonna go in a gunfight and probably either kill somebody or die. So it's not, it's not worth, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's all about side canceling, basically. Nothing too much, nothing too crazy. Just you need to know to build up the tolerance on when to side cancel and when to stop and refresh it. Yeah, B hopping, as you can see, it's not there exactly, but it's not that bad. It's not like MW2 was. Uh, now diving. Uh, diving in this game is it's very useful, as you can see. For example, you can cancel your dive like MW2, like the turban hop, whoever like follows me for a while. Uh, the turban hop is still here. It's not as prominent as the OG MW2 one, but this game has a thing with edges right some edges on this game have an insane like boosting uh potential uh i can throw i'll show a clip of me just jumping on an edge in favela and me just launching myself just forward just because the surface is like bugged Okay, as I was saying, diving. Dolphin diving in this game is very good. It's very situational though. Like, say for example, somebody's shooting you, you can just dolphin dive. If somebody's like shooting you from, from there and you want to like escape, you can dolphin dive. Even though it has like um, a small delay on how you get up. But dolphin diving is the most prominent like it was in MW2. I don't know whoever follows me since MW2 with a turban hop. OG turbine hop isn't here, but you can still like hit it and push. So for example, right? You're coming from here. You push here and you know somebody is underneath. They're either there or there and you want to push them. You don't want to just go out this window normally. You time your dolphin dive, you hit and you cancel your, your animation. Or you push, you want to push this. You just dolphin dive and push that always always you can also cancel your dolphin dive on things like this for example if if you see you need to dive a bit early so you hit the um, like this and your weapon is ready to prime for example you can do it on cars you can do it on different uh ledges for example Say, for example, if you want to push that building, I always push it like this. Even though in the beta it was a bit faster, you can always do that. 
to get an edge because people if people like push you from there and they see you being horizontal in the air they're gonna be very surprised they're gonna be like what the fuck is is that dude doing um whenever you find altitude and stuff to hit always hit a dolphin dive like the turban hop is for me is one of the most fundamental movements i use it everywhere and anywhere i can in any situation because you get an instant dolphin dive horizontal animation and your gun is pulled out you can shoot you can always like do it so that's normal diving so this is normal as you can see midair i can't pull out my gun but if i turban hop I can pull out my gun easy enough to understand you can do it anywhere say for example you know that people are there right you can push this here go up here hit a dolphin dive and then hit a b hop nobody will expect you to just coming f coming flying from here like if you're here and you just see somebody flying down you're a 90 percent gonna win that gunfight because people will get will need some milliseconds to process what you're doing uh that's basically it for dolphin diving i'm gonna move on forward okay so we're in terminal because terminal has some insane mantle spots right so mantling in general in this game even without the climbing boots is insane as you see this this just if you i'll show a clip of what it looks like it, you literally just teleport in this game what are you doing? You're teleporting on the fucking counter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was he? Wait, 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 wait. Something like, for example, this. And you use. So, as soon as your character hits the ground with that momentum, you can, like, do a small B hop. If you know how to use it, you can use, like, a little B hop, the momentum. Especially with climbing boots. I don't know. Let me see if I have a class with climbing boots. Okay, but. If you like climbing over objects and mantling faster, it, they're a very good option. Uh, but I was saying that you see that as soon as you mantle over, you get like a a boost if you time it. That's something to know. Uh, yeah. So in general, climbing mantling in this game is insane. It's probably the fastest climbing I've ever seen in any COD game ever. You can climb everything so super fast like insanely fast and you it looks like you're phasing through through stuff you're lagging so always have that in mind if you're going uh to mantle around stuff it always gonna like throw off people that don't know it uh that's all about mantling nothing crazy uh, i'm gonna make a twitter video soon about some mantling spots i don't want to spoil it yet but that's basically the the basics of mantling another movement tech uh, even though I hate it, I never do it. Everybody does it, and etc. etc. MW2 rank play, you know, everybody used to be a snake god. Uh, I never do it because I think it's a bit, I don't know, corny. But nonetheless, just find a, a surface. You can head glitch, go a bit back, go prone, hit forward with your sprint button. If you're on a controller, just have auto attack sprint. If you're keyboard and mouse, hold S and prone. That's basically snaking. It's not hard. If you keep your mouse, just hold S and prone and then W on your sprint button and that's how you do it. It's not that hard. I'm gonna not gonna stick on it because I never use it. But that's it. Okay, so the next movement thing, and probably one of the last I'm gonna cover because this has gone a bit too long, um, is the movement in general. Like your character model. Um... The, the how the hitbox registers is different than warzone 1 and mw2 was the same as this game so changing direction directional changing in general if it's if you do it correctly in a gunfight or engaging into a gunfight is actually very hard to, to hit the other person um because the player model like the hitbox bugs out and change so if you slide cancel and then change direction and go left and right or if you see somebody and say for example this is a person if you slide into them and just go back it's gonna break instantly their their camera or 
uh i know uh, there's been like the the new wave of like oh look at me i'm i'm doing movement no that's not a thing yeah that's not 100 percent movement that's their own thing i don't judge it that's just aesthetic wise they just like like doing it uh but if you see somebody and you do a 360 and change direction for example if you do that the hitbox kind of bugs out mid gunfight and it's it throws the other person around i mean aim assist is kind of strong in this game so the chances are that he is gonna kill you but if you incorporate like a, a small spin and then a jump or backwards and then whatever when you change your direction in the gunfight your hitbox just changes and it's harder to hit than it is normal so if you slide cancel then do that your character is gonna look like crazy fast when it turns um it's not super important right but it can be used in certain scenarios uh but most of the times if you're actually going for like a serious game and you're playing like a, a tournament or whatever you're not gonna go mid gunfight and do spins and shit you're just gonna hit the, hold a hand gl a head glitch and continue your your game you're not gonna do spins but if you're in a gunfight in the open and you do like a spin and then like b hop kind of it, it throws off the opponent like a lot um um last thing i want to cover is just the damage boost and jumping in general so if you go high up and hit something and aim in you get a, a jump boost you can like b hop crazy um you can do that because the damage uh like fall damage on this game is almost non-existent you can't break your legs from almost any map i think i've tried a lot of maps and you don't break your legs so for example if somebody is there you just aim in and just keep training your b hops it's very useful especially for warzone when warzone comes out this is a very useful mechanic if you want to push somebody that's basically it uh that's basically it for the whole movement guide i'm gonna go through my settings uh for controller i don't know a lot of settings because i'm keyboard and mouse but if i can see something or change something by controller i'm gonna incorporate it in the video uh that's basically it if you need anything else in the comments just uh, let me know uh make sure to follow my twitter because i'm very active there i always post videos about new routes uh post about movement shit uh compare old movement with new movement i do a lot uh that's basically it peace